So I'm going to apologize. Uh, let's start with it. So I'm going to apologize for the quality and the sound of this video. Okay, it's my filming day. I'm trying to upload this last video to my computer and it's not working. So I'm just recording this last video on here. But welcome back to my childhood life. Today's topic is what's going to happen if you ban abortion. Now, you genius people I think for some reason that if you ban abortion, that that's just going to solve everything. No more killing babies and blase blase. Um, newsflash, okay, hello? That's not going to do anything, you imbecile. If you want to lower abortion numbers, here's what you do. Number one, provide proper freaking sex ed in school. Okay, that's number one you can do. Number two, give us access to birth control, which they're also now trying to take away because some idiot named Kavanaugh and probably some other idiots out in the world think that birth control is a is an abortion inducing drug, which it is not in any way, shape, or form. If you think that, you're freaking stupid as freak. You're also good chance you're probably religious because that's a um I find that to be a a thing that you know some religious people think that using birth control or condoms is like a sin because they're you know killing babies and blocking God's plan. Birth control is not an abortion drug, okay, you idiots. I don't know why that's so hard to comprehend. It's not an abortion drug if you take it before getting pregnant. It's not an abortion drug if you take it when you're pregnant. That's not how it works. It's a birth control, not an abortion pill. Get a dictionary because you obviously don't know what the definition of an abortion is. And don't you think if that's how birth control worked, that like, you know, there'd be even more access to abortion? Like, hello, oh my god, if you are so stupid, honestly, guess what, anyway, so yeah, so, you know, this whole plan of trying to ban abortion, because you're murdering babies, uh, um, guess what, first off, <laughs> you know, you're gonna ban abortion, and then try to force us to have kids we don't want for whatever reason that may be. Of why we don't want them, um, which we then, you know, forcing us to stay pregnant for nine months and give birth, and because we don't want them, where are they going to go? They're going to go into the foster care system with the other four hundred thousand kids who don't have homes, because you people who love kids so much aren't adopting them. Instead, you're popping out ten kids of your own, and the government doesn't care. They don't care about anyone. So. You're just not doing anything but adding more kids into the foster care system. But to you, that's you being a saint and being so holy and helpful. Because at least I'm not marrying babies. Oh, I'm going to try myself to sleep. Oh my gosh, guess what? Um, if you think that banning abortion is going to lower abortion numbers, um, it's not. Because there will be plenty of people who will find other ways to get rid of the underdeveloped fetus. Um, you know, pop a couple of pills, you know, take a whole bottle of vodka. Um, I'm sure people own plenty of hangers. I don't know. Um, maybe even belly flop down a flight of stairs. All of that sounds much better than trying to force me to stay pregnant all for a kid that you are not going to pay for or raise or take care of. You really have the nerve. You really do. And the whole birth control being an abortion, which it isn't, that's going to be a whole another video for another time. But I'm just like, stop spreading false information. So yeah, if you think that banning abortion is like gonna solve all these issues, 
of like marrying babies is nice. Why can't you just mind your business? Like honestly. Like please. <laughs> Unless you are going to guarantee it at home or take it home with yourself. I really don't see why you're so worried about what is and what isn't in someone else's uterus. It's not your freaking problem. It's not. Why don't you go take care of your kids that you have since you like kids so much? Maybe people spent less time outside of abortion clinics with their picket signs and screaming your Bible verses. Maybe, you know, go try to get people to adopt kids that need families you know why don't you go help the kids that are already here and alive that need real homes and families can you do that of course not because you're so worried about some underdeveloped fetus that you will never meet that you're not taking care of that you're not going to pay for and i don't get that if any abortion is going to do anything, that's a fact. Um, so for all you idiots out there who think that that's the case, well, you're wrong. And the abortion numbers um, will only either stay the same or get even higher if this does happen. So, um, yeah. Over up whole life is, <laughs> I mean, you're not doing anything, to be honest. You're not. Sorry to break that news to you since you were unaware. But, yeah, you can go cry yourself to sleep over murdering babies. Um, worry about yourself. Worry about your own body. Worry about your own uterus. And mind your business. Can you try that for once? Anyway, we're gonna do what we want. My body, my choice. And um, for those of you who are going to say, it's not your body, it's the babies. <laughs> um, I'll be making a special video for you. So, that will be in a couple weeks. Anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm annoying. You're welcome. That's it. Um, I don't really care if you disagree. Because I don't care about a lot of things. But... I have to say on that. Um, yeah. How stupid are you, honestly? Such idiots. Absolute imbeciles. 100%. Anyway. If you like this, my child for your life series, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below. Check out my other videos. And I will see you guys next time. And hey. Remember, very bad for body. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>